Okay. All right. No, 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 no. <clears throat> okay. Our, right. So my name is Jack, and uh, I graduated from National University of Singapore in 2008. And guess what is my major? Am I major in finance or economy or? Yeah. Okay, the correct answer is I'm from engineering, okay, mechanic engineering. I are, uh, yeah, but very unlucky for me when I graduate 2008. What happened in the world? 2008. Oh my God, crisis, right? Lehman Brothers force, right? Or this uh, the CDS deport, okay? So uh, at the, <clears throat> when I was in uh, year four, <clears throat> I almost get a job from Keppel, you know? Because Keppel in Singapore, they are the marine industry and they hire mechanical engineers. <clears throat> But when I graduate, they are cutting people. They are not hiring people. So I have to uh, move to some uh, industry that I can still survive or find a job. So I moved to the financial industry. And then I moved to the bank. I used to work in UOB as well. And I work in the, the last bank I joined is Bank of China, Singapore. And I was a private banker <clears throat> for about five years. Okay, and, uh, during my time in my banking uh, experience, I uh, basically, what I do is I uh, help them to develop their strategy of global asset allocation. So not only in Singapore, but also they are my clients are looking for uh, global trading opportunities among the world. Like they want to buy the dollar, they want to buy the gold, they want to buy the oils. Okay. So then uh, now I'm a, a coach in uh, trading. I teach a lot of uh, strategies and I teach the trading system to a lot of uh, people, including the experts and including the ordinary people. Okay, and uh, let's start, right? So the first part I'm going to uh, introduce is what should we have in mindset to build our monthly income? <clears throat> then <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the first step in trading and what will be the profitable patterns <clears throat> and what is structural breakout. So part four will be a very, very specific strategy that I hope that everyone here can bring the back home and apply it in your own investment, right? Remember, structural breakout, okay? So I'm going to uh, elaborate that in the next <coughs> slides. Uh, in part five, how to develop your training plan, and then the final is how to transform to a professional trader, okay? So yeah, this is currently my status in TradingView, which is one of the largest traders community in the world, and a lot of traders who love to use chartings, okay? They want to watch free chartings, free candlesticks, right? They go to this website called www.tradingview.com, and you can uh, share your ideas of trading setups to everybody. Everyone can see your post. And people discuss, hey, guys, shall we enter or not? Shall we wear stock, where's the entry, and where's target? Okay, so people discuss uh, in this. So currently, I'm, uh, I'm ranking number two uh, in this website, and I have more than 50,000 uh, followers okay, in TradingView, and I have published more than 1,600 ideas over the four years. Okay, uh, okay so let's start. <clears throat> First, what is the return of Singapore fixed deposit now? Anyone? Give me an answer. The SGD fixed deposit rate, one year. How much? 1%. Oh, still 1%. <laughs> okay. Because last time when I lived in Singapore, I mean, I opened my business in China, right? It's about 0.8, 1%, sometimes 1.2, when promotion rate comes, right? Yeah. Now still 1%. My God. Still too low, right? Do you agree? It's too low, right? You invest 10,000, you only get 100 back after one year, right? Okay, so, <clears throat> oops, what happened to this? Never mind. What if you can earn extra 3,000 US dollars per month? Extra, I mean, because we're talking about monthly income, right? So I give you a figure, a monthly income of 3,000 US dollars per month, will you be satisfied or not? Will it help your living expenses, you know, right? Okay, so let's just figure it out. How can we earn this 3,000 US dollar, okay, in a systematic way, right? So in one month, we have four weeks, right? And every week we have five days that the market is open, right? <clears throat> Exclusive these uh, holidays, okay? So if one, 
high quality trade through global future and forex and stocks market, right? And we pick just one every day. Do you think it is possible or not? Cannot. Just one trade a day. Do you think it's too much or too too small, too too low? Right? Too few, right? You want to trade as many as, as you can. Just like trade the <clears throat> in this means that you, you think that the market is an ATM that you can just you know withdraw the money every day, right? Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I have to I have our, <laughs> because I, I, I have a camera, you know, in front of me, so I cannot move you know too yeah. much from this range. So I have to see your eyes. Okay, can you hear me? Can you see me? Hello? Yes, the last yes. row? Okay, yes. good. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so 20 days and one trade per day. How many trades would make per month? 20, right? 20, okay. And do you believe that you are a super lucky person or super unlucky person? A super lucky means every day you win. A super unlucky person means every day you lose. Do you think you are ordinary people or you to this extreme side? Okay, raise your hand if you think you are super lucky. Always, every day win, okay? No, okay, I don't see anyone. Okay, so do you, so can we agree that ordinary people, we will have maybe, let's say, 50% win and 50% lose. Do you think that is common? Make sense? Okay, good. So, <clears throat> we have to apply a rules in our daily trading uh, strategies. Okay, so these are those uh, <clears throat> symbols that we, we can look at, like gold, silver, oil, SPX, which is uh, <coughs> U.S. stocks market indices, <coughs> coffee, China A50, and euro sterling. These are all the currency pairs, and also, of course, a lot of individual stocks. Right? Okay, tell me <coughs> which stock you love most. What, what is your favorite stock? JD, Jingdong.com, right? JD, okay, all right. That is a China stock. How about any Singapore stocks? Just now, our friend says. UB DBS, right? They are buying back, right? Do you hear that? They are, the banks are buying back their own shares, which means support, right? So if you want to buy, you can look at the chart and find some trading opportunities, right? Right? Good. <clears throat> so we have to set a very strict rules for our daily trading our setups. Otherwise, you are just trading randomly. Okay, trading ran randomly means your trading results will be random. Okay, someday you may lose a lot of money and someday you may win a lot of money. Do you want that, that kind of result? Do you? No, you don't. But how about the result is like this? If we set a rule that every day we only lose 300 US dollar maximum, is it okay? Do you want to, okay. Raise your hand. Anyone want to lose more than 300 US dollar per day? Anyone? Say, okay, I want to, I, I don't mind lose 1,000 US dollar a day. I'm very rich, right? Um, I have a bank, you know, I have a mining industry, you know? <laughs> okay? Okay, so I think everyone agree that it's okay to have a stop loss or have a maximum damage in your account that we keep into 300 US dollar, right? But what is our target? Okay, remember your, uh, I want to, you to uh, try to review your own trading results. Okay, how many of you have ever earned $100? Raise your hand. 100. So, so few people? Oh, 100, can you, have you, no, no, not per trade. <clears throat> Has anyone achieved this target? One trade, $100, raise your hand. All right, good, major, right? How about 500 per trade? Okay, how about 1,000 a trade? Less. Okay, how about 10,000 a trade? Wow, see, who is a big player, see, <laughs> right? Okay, good, but generally speaking, but if I, if I, okay, made a input of, uh, of my risk is only 300 US dollar, what kind of return should I get? Is 30, 100, 200, 300, is 300 enough? Okay, the answer is not, right? Because just imagine, we have 20 days, and 10 days you win 300, another 20 days you lose 300. Are you going to make money? No, definitely, right? But if you 
lose 300 and in exchange of a 600 return. Let's calculate the results. Okay. That's it because I already said that our winning ratio no need to be very high. Okay, just middle, middle. Okay, so ten trades we win and ten trades we lose. Twenty twenty trades a month, right? So if I win six hundred trade, what is the total <coughs> winning profits of the ten trades? Six thousand. Okay, and the other ten trade, what's the result? We lose, and we lose. 300 a trade, so it's 3,000, right? So the answer is 10 times 600 minus 10 times 300 equals to 3K US dollar a month. Wow. Okay, I think it's end of this um, seminar. You all learned, right? This is a very, very successful formula. And how many of you is first time know this kind of formula? Raise your hand. First time, only one. So you all know that this formula before. Are you? No. Okay, just interact with me. Be calm. I mean, are you the first time? No. You know this. You know this uh, formula. Through my YouTube. Okay. So you're not, you're not my first student. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. I want to emphasize this point. Is a lot of people come to this market. Okay. Only driving by, driven by, I want to make money, right? How many of you that, uh, yeah, stocks market is good, we, we can make money. I just invest in certain companies and the shares are going up, right, so I can make money. But how much money are you going to make? Do you have a goal? Do you have a target? And do you have a system? Right, so this is my topic for today, okay? So if you believe in the system, right, so what are the key things that we have to apply to guarantee your 3k income every month okay so i repeat how many trade i should take every day one if i don't take a trade i go to play i go to you know social i drink do i earn any money no if out of 20 days you just you know play for 19 days are you going to make this 3k no so the first thing okay at least one trade a day. So by saying one trade a day, do you prepare that every day you should spend at least maybe half an hour or one hour looking at the charts and to plan your trade? Do you think so? And then you have to ask yourself, do you have this valuable, precious time of one hour to interact with your market? Do you think, oh yeah, I'm housing wife, you know, I'm a babysitter. I, every every time, every hour I'm sitting with my babies, babies, I don't have time to watch the market. Then probably you just lose this one day tradings, right? Okay. And so that's the first thing. Okay. Every day a trade at least. Second thing, do you have a daily loss limit? Can you allow yourself to lose more than 300 a day? Can you? No, you can't. So if today I lose, I have a trade and I hit my stop loss, what should you do? Close it, okay? Leave your computer, okay? Go do your other things. You don't trade anymore. Don't become a gambler that, yeah, I lose this thing. I want to just save it back. I'm going to just trade one more time. Let me just save my money back. No, don't, don't have this kind of attitude. It will not help, okay? So a daily loss limit. limit is set at $300 US dollar a day. And do you want to just earn 100 and just escape? Say, yeah, today very good, I earned 100 already. Let's just go to sleep. Is that possible? Is that okay? No, because you have to know that if your risk is 300, you have to win at least 600. To make sure this two to one reward and risk ratio, okay? As I already calculated, if you only win 300 a day a trade, but your risk is also 300. End up in the end, you don't you don't win, and you are just you know just donating your money to the brokers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you think they can, right? Because you made 20 trade, he will charge you commissions. He will charge you. Like the government will charge you stamp duties. Uh, right? <clears throat> okay, he will just make this up. But you have to make more than 300. Okay. <clears throat> so by 
by doing these three things, okay? One trade a day, loss limit 300, target win 600, and you just continue to do it day by day, you will get, I will guarantee you, you can make this kind of return. And if you are kind of advanced traders, your winning ratio can be above 50%, right? How about 20 trades, you win 15 and you lose five, is that possible? Yeah, and you get a better results, right? How about you find those very, very good place to enter only, that your reward may be three times of your risk? Are you going to increase this profit? Yes. So the risk reward ratio, you can improve. The winning ratio, there's also space for you to improve. And professional traders like me, all right, are my winning ratio is generally about <coughs> 65% <coughs> to 70%. Sometimes maybe even, even higher, like, like 90, 95%. It, I have achieved that, okay? But generally speaking, I will be very satisfied if my winning ratio is about 60%. That's enough for me because it's above the standard, about 50%. And I will have a very, very passion to find high quality trade. Like my reward is 10 times of my risk. And this 10 to one reward risk ratio trade, maybe I can only find one per month. But that would be very, very profitable already. Just imagine I, I risk 300 and I get back in that particular trade only uh, one time a month, right? I get back 3,000. Do I just complete my target? Yep. So a professional trader will have to maintain his winning ratio, not below 50%, and maintain his reward risk ratio, we call RR ratio, above two to one. If you can do these two things at the same time, and you can do the trade one trade a day, okay, one and after another, I guarantee you, you are a profit, profitable trader. Okay, that's the only way to success, to be successful in this market. Okay, good. So let's continue. <laughs> yeah. Question, possible or not, right? Is this achievable or not? Okay, for example, okay, right, because this is a slide so like uh, in the last year, so I have some, you know, old examples, but it's still, it's good to see. Okay, we can see that uh, in, uh, on the day, this is a 217 July 20th, okay. I think so, almost one year. Like, what's the day today? <laughs> All the six dollars. Yeah, it's, it's one years back. Okay. All right. So, as you can see, that uh, I, I I identify this buying zone here. Okay, which you can see the price dropping and have an engulfing, and then the price rally <coughs> tremendously. The gold rally from one to seventy three to one to forty two. Right, and then the price just come back. So I decide if the price ever give me this chance to let me buy at 1273.51, I will make a buy. And some of people may think it's, it's falling, right? And do you ever heard that don't catch a falling knife in the stock market, right? right? It's, it's, it's good, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's correct, but if I'm catching a falling knife at a demand zone, we call demand zone, which is institutional players, like he said, the UOB banks, they are buying the, the stocks for themselves, right? So the, so the traders have to make these executions to buy those shares, right? If I buy at this demand zone, we call a rally based rally, right? Remember, rally based rally, this is a demand zone, and I'm going to have more uh, probability to win, okay? So my trading plan is here. Okay, I will have a buy limit at 1237.51 and I will have a stop loss at 1235 because if the price ever penetrates the lowest point of the breeze candle, I don't want to buy anymore. But think of this some novice traders, some you know, mass market investors, they don't have this logic of stop loss. They will just hold and uh, hope that the price will give them a reward. But in my trading system, that's not going to happen. Every trade, I will have a stop loss level. What's the purpose? To stop myself. No, 
to prevent further loss. Remember, what's the maximum loss I want to have a trade? Yeah, three hundred dollar. Okay, so I determine my stop loss level is here. Okay, is here one two thirty five. Okay, my entry is one two seventy three point fifty five. What is the difference? It's about two point five dollar, right? So in gold, you have to remember one contract. Okay, one gold contract equals one hundred, one hundred ounce. Okay, so if I buy one contract, I mean I buy one hundred. So just like shares, I bought one hundred shares, and every share dropped two point five dollar. What is my risk? Two hundred fifty, right? Okay, good. So in this case, my risk is two hundred fifty if I buy one contract. Okay. So let's see what happened next. Okay, can you see that? Did the price give me this chance to let me fill my order? We, we call it fill, my, my order is filled because my entry price was hit. Did the market give me this buying opportunity here? Yes, the price has come to this place. And that's the place I buy. And after I buy, what happened? It just, Rocket, right? Fly like a rocket. And where's my target? My risk is, uh, because my risk is only $2.5, right? So what is my reward? It's two times of my risk, right? So $5. So what is the mathematical result that I add $5 from my entry level? One, two, 73.51. I just add five, it will be one, two, 42.51 right so i mark so i will have to wait the price to come to here and let my broker to help me to take profit and the beauty is i don't need to be with the computer every second the moment i key in my entry level key in my stop loss level and key in my profit taking level is automatic done already Okay, so we can see in the next place. So just after I, I buy, because this is, uh, uh, this is a 30 minutes chart. 30 minutes chart means every candle represents 30 minutes the time, right? So my order was, he, well, was healed, uh, filled at this candle, and after 30 minutes, another 30 minutes, the price just, you know, going up, and did it hit my target? And is my target fully uh, executed at that level? Yes. Okay. So do I complete my target to risk 300 and reward 600? And is this happening within a day? Yeah, 30 minutes. So at the time I buy at the time is uh, 10 and 30 p.m. This is Singapore time, okay? So 10.30 p.m., I buy, I bought this gold, and at 11 o'clock, I already take my 600 into my pocket, right? That is a very, very good example, right? Let's see, another case study. Okay, this is oil, right? This is oil, crude oil. Same setups. I saw the price ready very much from this, we call Iman zone again, because this is a drop-based rally. It ready so much that I can identify that this zone has a lot of institutional players to buy, okay? Because they are buying, they are getting all of the chips. And after they get collecting all of the chips, the price shoots up, okay? That's because the demand is very, very, very high in this zone, okay? So I decide if the oil gave me this opportunity to come back to 49.03, I want to make a buy and my stop loss is here okay again I calculate my risk distance right so 49 minus 48.87 how much it's about 0 0.23 dollar 23 cents okay so I times two I have times two right because my reward is two times of the risk so 23 times two is 46 so I have to wait the price to rally 0 0.46 dollar to 49.49, .49, which is here. 
Okay, I have marked one. So let's just see what happened next. Wow. The price drop. Okay. Touch my entry and it flips up. And within one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six candles of 30 minutes. What is the time? 180 minutes, right? Three hours, right? Okay. Three hours still within one day, right? Okay. So within one day, I earned two times of 300 again. Okay. Target hit. Okay. So it's order field and after three hours, target hit. And my money, my profit, 600 in my pocket. Okay. Another winning day, right? Good. Wow. So cool. Every day win dollar, US dollar 600, right? Is it every day? You win 600. Oh my god, 20 days. I will be are you earning 12k US dollar. Wow, but are you do are you this super lucky guy? No, you have it, you have to be prepared. It, what what happened if raining days comes, right? Okay, yeah, the rain days as well. So that's very important. You have to use stop loss. Okay, let's see this example, right? By the way, all these examples are the real trading that I made in my past trading histories okay again I in this day uh, July yeah July 25th of 2017 I find this might be a good shorting opportunity to short euro dollar okay when the price comes back to the supply zone I want to make a short and do you can you see that there's a red line here sorry I have to be this is already very technical already because you have to understand what is stop loss level which I mentioned just now. This zone, okay, this is my entry 1.1688. I plan to short, which means sell, sell euro dollar here. And my stop loss is above the previous high. Question, why do I put the stop loss above the previous high? Anyone? Right. Okay, let me just ask you, why? Why I am planning planning to short? I think the direction is up or down. Down, right? I believe it will come down, right? So the trend should be bearish, right? Okay. But if the price make a higher high, is that a signal of bearish trend? No, right? It makes a higher high means it's a bullish trend. The price is going up, right? So I put my stop loss above the previous high just to prevent prevent that. If the price going higher high and change the trend to bullish, do I still want to short or not? No, I should quit. Quit with a loss. And what is the loss? 300, yes. Not 3,000, right? 3,000, my account blew up already, right? <laughs> okay, so let's see what happened. Okay, wow, you see, the price went up, order field, order up here. Just within one, two, three, okay? I'm not. 90 minutes, one and a half an hour. I just lost 300 US dollar. Oh my God. I lost 300 US dollar. Do I cry? Should I cry? Should I be worried? Should I be panicked? Should I be just, you know, stepping out of my computer, you know, just chewing off those uh, pants and shouting at my wife? Yeah, I know I cannot do that because if I ever shout to my wife, I'll be dead <laughs> next day. Yeah, I know Singapore, I wake up all right. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, that's not going to happen because do I know that if I made a loss, I will lose just exactly $300. Do I know that beforehand? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, am I prepared? Yes. And I'm so well prepared that this $300 to me is not a loss, it's an investment. Okay, it's just an investment of the business I'm doing. Think of this, if you're going to uh, open a coffee shop, do you have to invest? You have to hire people, you have to rent their coffee shop, you have to buy all the goods, all the coffee beans, right? You have to hire people, right? And if the customer comes to buy your coffee and you can calculate how, much, how many cups of coffee you sell, right? So every business has a cost. So this $300 is just a cost for me, but it's not cost for nothing. The cost is for me to have this potential to win 600, okay? 
So with this mindset, I will never be upset if my stop loss was triggered. I will be very, very prepared, okay? not be panicked. And some of you may ask, hey, Jack, if you, don't, if you never stop here, you see the price did come back again, and you're right, you see, the, the price did come back again. And you are you will earning money. You see the, the, the this result? I'm shorting here, I'm shorting here. Did the price ever going down? Yeah, it did, right? So can I say that yeah, using stop loss is not very good. You see, the price just comes down again. And if you never stop, you will win money by in, instead of losing three hundred, I may I may win three hundred. In the difference, yeah, I saved six hundred. But is that a good way of thinking of this in my rules? No, because you will never know what will happen in the market. Just like, you know, the dollar, Turkey, let me show you. Let me just show you, okay? You can never imagine how, how great the market is. Let's see, USD TRY. USD TRY is the US dollar versus Turkish real right? Okay, let's say there are some people who are shorting the Turkish here, right? If there's a no stop loss at here, you guess how much he will lose at this point? He will lose 5.43270 about 2,000, yeah, 26,000. Points. If you if you if you trade one lot, you will lose twenty thousand twenty six k US dollar in the one trade. So trust me, you you must have a stop loss every trade. Okay, but I don't know whether you can set a stop loss in UOBK here for stocks. Uh, Cannot, right? Okay, yeah. For well, stocks, it's we use it's the right stop loss, uh, in the system. Are, yeah, let me just uh, give you some uh, guideline, okay? For stocks market, you can set limit orders, okay? Set your stop loss and your taking profit, but that order is normally we call a GTD, good deal date, and just a value, value, uh, value just that day only. So maybe the next day, you may need to set again. Okay? But in forex market, it will be easier because that is called a GTC, good deal cancel. So as long as I didn't cancel my order, it would be forever there. Okay, so the order types are different. GDT, a GTD means it will expire someday. GTC means it will just forever continue. And you don't, you don't want you don't worry, worry about that. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, there was a similar reason uh, why uh, some market is not easy to settle our clients, we, we can do that, but some of the stocks, especially in Singapore, don't have liquidity. Yeah, right. It's very so, much related to the liquidity. Yeah. So, so maybe uh, at this moment, for example, the current share is trading at uh, one dollar, which is not liquid share, not very liquid share, and you want to set a stop loss maybe at ninety cents, right? But by the moment a stop loss is triggered at ninety cents, the next buyer for in liquid stock maybe at sixty cents. Yeah. So maybe if we, we have this system in place, then a lot of our Singaporean clients will be killed by a lot of uh, this liquid stocks because when you, at the moment you trigger a stop loss, there's no uh, buyer in the market there. There's yeah. not, not enough buyer in the market there. That's why we don't have. That's why I love forex, you know. Yeah. Because it's a very very liquid market. You will never be worried that you will uh, you, you you cannot find a buyer for your goods or you cannot find a seller to sell you. Okay, you, you can always execute your orders almost instant. Okay, all right, question, if there's no stop, will you have Big loss. I will lose more than $300, right? Think of this, I make a 600, 600, I make five times of 600 in the first five trading days, already very good, 3K profit. And I look, because I earned this 3K profit, what will my mindset, become power rich, right? Imagine, I, I just make 3,000 US dollar 
profit in my pocket, right? And now there's a kind of a, you know a voice in your head that hey, buy more, buy more. Your buying power is bigger, right? You can double your size, double, double your size, and you may two times faster to earn more money, right? If I ever do that, did I follow my rule? No. And if, if I don't have a stop loss, I may lose 3K just by one trade. And if you just keep re repeating these kind of stories over and over again, we will be very, very frustrated. You earn five days and you lose all your money in one day. You'll be, trust me, you'll be, you'll be yeah, you, you, you will not be very, very happy in trading. Okay? So it is very, very important to have a rules and stick with your rules. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, so let me just uh, give you an idea, okay? What kind of results you, you prefer? The first one, you see, minus 300, lose 300, plus 6, minus 3, plus 6, plus 6, minus 3, okay? Is this one, is this trader steady or not? Steady, right? Okay, how about this? Look at the, look at the first night trade. Wow, all profit, right? 50, 100, 150, 110, 30, 20, 50, minus 5,000. But do you think, okay, left side and right side, which one is retail client? Which one is professional trader? In your, in your view, which one is professional trader? Left side, right? Do you see this kind of people before? Have you ever seen them? They made money every day, and it's just one day they're gone. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of things. This happens a lot, all the times. Sometimes you may heard from news, read from the newspaper that there's one guy, one genius, right? He invests three, uh, like from two uh, k or three k, and grows to billion, billionaires or millionaires, right? And after some years, you never heard of these people's news again, because he may just made some stupid mistakes and kill his account in just one trade, okay? So remember, only novice trader, only newbie, okay? Only those we call, uh, yeah. Re retail, yeah. yeah. And you know, there's sometimes you may, you may not be, uh, of course, now we see the results. I, I can, if I ask you, you will say, yeah, definitely, it will not be me. Yeah, I was. You was. <laughs> yeah, you were. Okay, but sometimes you are being, you know, set up. Okay, let me just tell you a very a true story that happened in China. Okay, may not happen in Singapore, but I don't. I do see there's potential to happen in Singapore, and I heard this kind of uh, news before. Okay, so imagine you are a millionaire. Okay, you have your own business. You have a lot of money, right? And now you feel that the real industry, the industry, the business is not, it's very, very uh, you know, slow. Don't make more money. And you want, you decide to invest in stock market. And someday you meet this friend and this friend tells you, he can give you some advice of certain stocks. Okay, inside, inside news, okay? And you trust him once, the first time you maybe just give him, you try 100,000. Okay, because the first time, right? I don't want, I don't want to buy one, one million, right? The first time you buy 100,000. And very, very magically, the next day, these stocks rally 10%. Wow, good. 10% gain of 100,000. One day you make 10K, right? Well, wow, that, that's easy money, right? hard money, easy money. The next one you try again, another 10% comes. Okay, so after maybe three or four times, you get be very, you know, you, you trust this person. You feel, wow, you're very good. You gave me all the stocks that is going up, and you tell me before it's going up, right? You even think that he's your, you know, he's your buddy, he's your best, best friend, right? And after you're making a lot of money from his advice, right? And then there's one day he said, hey, just, just same as you, your. Okay, this guy tells you, hey, go buy this stock. Tomorrow, uh, I tell you what, uh, tomorrow uh, this stock will be acquired by another big company and the shares will double after the acquisition. And answer me, if you win five or six times from this person before, 
right? You trust him, you trust his strategy, you trust his news, are you going to stop? No. And what if it tells you, hey, you see, I have already proved my skills, right? The, all, the, all the shares I recommend you are all winning, right? Now it's your time to fly. One million. <laughs> and you're the first one I, I tell, you know, buy more, buy as many as you can. And you, yeah, you go you're all in. You go all in one million. And then after several days, this guy disappeared. You make a phone call, D D D D D. Okay, you never answered. You try to find this person, the person gone, and then the stock just crash. Okay? So it's very, very common setups for those people who want to, you know, make some uh, to, to we could call uh, fishing, you know, it's kind of fishing. I, I give you money, I give you money, and then I will take all your money. Okay? So the moral of the story is first, never listen to somebody else, a uh, stock recommendation. Okay? Don't trust inside news, <laughs> except James. <laughs> okay, because I don't James, use no, no, James don't have internet. James is uh, because I saw his uh, uh, messages before and uh, all these years, right? He is as just telling you some facts. Okay, which market is going up, which market is going down, which which industry is doing well. He's talking about the general economy. It's never in this individual stock. He may want you, he may want you to pay attention to certain individual stock, but did he ever? Ask you to buy? No, I think. Okay, some. <laughs> then that's not ethical, right? <laughs> okay, good. So, <clears throat> look at this chart, okay? Be the left one, not the right side, okay? The right side is for those novice traders, okay? They don't know what kind of a target they want to have. They don't know how to stop their loss. Okay, so this is the first thing I want to highlight in my topic, okay? Because this is a statistic, statistics result. The more you trade, you see here, look the left, right? You can see, this is only 10 trades, right? Okay? 10 trades, he win, one down to five. Can he are uh, repeating this success in the future? And the more he trades, is the profit get more or less more, right? Okay, so that's the beauty of, we call the law of large numbers. And think of this, do you think casino is making money or not? Yeah. Casino, okay, <laughs> of course. Casinos are those, you know, right? They are, they are just uh, uh, sucking the money from those gamblers, right? Okay, then, okay, but what is the, uh, what is the secret of the casino? Do you know? Why the casino can make money? First, okay, first, the casino will open every day. Hey, sure. that's very important. If the casino can only about one month and the government said, you know, you cannot do this business, mm. you will just die, right? So the first rule is the casino have to open every day, which means continue, continuity. Every day I can open this business. Second rule is, the casino will have a better winning ratio than you. Okay? Maybe, yeah, he's 51% and you are 49%, but just leading you 2%, and the more he plays, you get money. Not, not maybe from you, but from him, from somebody else. Okay? Third rule, the casino will have a better winning rate, uh, the reward and risk ratio than you. Think of this. Anyone uh, watch FIFA 218 this year? FIFA, the World Cup. Did you buy? Anyone? Okay, raise your hand. Okay. Have you have you have you ever tried that you buy every score? Do you think that if you buy every stock confirm you will win one, right? Right? And, but what will be the result? You will lose. You will lose because they have already calculated if you buy all the scores and if you win some, the total money you win will be the less than the total money you invest. Okay? So the, the casino is the same way. They will just calculate all the probabilities and how much money you have to pay in the minimum band. Okay? So the fourth rule, okay, very important. Think of this. If someday I go to the casino and I say, hey, 
I will gamble from you. If you win, you give me the casino. If I win, you, you give me the casino. If I lose, I get, uh, you take my life. You think, you think, you think, do you think the casino will ever take this kind of gamble? No, but what if I win, right? Although he's 2% leading me by me, right? 51%, 49%, but will this winning ratio be effective from one trade, one, one, one game? No, what if, let's say oh, I play blackjack, right? One ace, one K, yeah, I win. I have this kind of luck, right? Yeah, so the casino will never, will, will have a table limit, will have a daily loss limit. So actually it's very same with our trading system. So if you apply these four rules in your trading system, you are just like running a casino, okay? You're not afraid of losing money because that is the cost of your business. By losing 300, I know that I may be winning 600 in the next trade. Am I going to stop? No, I will just continue, right? And I know that the more I continue, the more I win. Right. So this is a secret of successful trading. Okay, let me just uh, give you some idea of uh, trading, okay? So the first step in trading is you have to understand what are you trading? Stocks, future, forex, option fund. There are so many asset classes, uh, asset classes that you have to, you can choose, right? For example, in UBK, and just now James already mentioned, you can trade, what ETFs, okay, ETF fund. You can trade Indian stocks, you can trade uh, European stocks, you can trade USA stocks, right? So you can also choose to trade futures, like gold, silver, natural gas, okay, commodities, coffee beans, you know, a, a lot of uh, agriculture, you, you can also trade. You can also choose to trade in options, okay? You can buy the coal or sell the food, whatever, okay? So, and you have to ask you, how long do you want to hold? What is your time horizon, your investment horizon before you invest? If you need this money very urgently, should you trade, do you put this into the stock market? You have 50,000 in your hand, but you know after 10 days, you are going to pay this 50,000 for your daughter's school fees. Are you going to invest in stocks markets? No, if you, do, if, you, if you dare do that, your wife will kill you, right? right? And because you cannot just let your money be risk that you're going to pay in the, someday in the future, right? And who moves the market? The willing buyers and the willing sellers. Are you going to approach in a fundamental or technical ways? Okay, so actually some people will classify traders as you know, fundamental traders or technical traders, but for me, I will say that I'm, I'm not giving you a technical you know, advice or, or training setups because I believe that if a trader is successful, he, can, he has to be very good at a fundamental and very good at technical for both. Cannot have very weak side, okay? Typically, if you are trading Forex, you have to understand a lot of things. When uh, federal, the Fed, President Powell, Okay, make some announcement. You have to be very alert, alert to that. Oh, maybe dollar will have move. Okay, when Europe, Europe have something, you have to. Okay, Euro will have some, some opportunities, right? Turkish, okay, Korean, Japan, PBOC, the China banks. You you know that how much the exchange rate for sing dollar to renminbi? Five. So what's the best opportunity to do now? Convert your sing dollar to renminbi because it's very, very good price. One year ago, you can, you can just exchange one to 4.5, right? For every one, one single dollar, you can change only 4.5 RMB, and now you can change about five, okay? What happened if the next two years, the RMB appreciate again, versus the single dollar drop back, drop back to maybe 4.6 or 4.7, you make money, right? Okay? So uh, fundamental part I have to tell you, can, you need to pay attention to economic calendars, read these financial markets reports and news, be prepared that what kind of, which market is going to, you know, have announced some news, okay? But my advice is don't trade news, okay? Because the reason is all the news that is already known by the world is useless. Do you agree? Because every people know that Apple is going, you know, Apple is going to uh, announce launching the new iPhone, right? 
every people know and every people know the sales results. And do you think the institutional players players will move faster than you? Right? And yesterday uh, we made a friend, right? Mm. We met a friend and he said he can be, you know, five mm. five minutes earlier than you know the US uh, the, the manufacturing PMI. Five minutes earlier than you. And as a not as a retail trader, we don't have we don't have this access to those first hand news, right? So my my advice is don't trade news. And especially don't trade before news. You, if you trade before news, you are gambling. Unless you are very, very confident with your view. Like, you know, uh, for example, for example, okay, I'm a I'm a firm believer of Marin. Okay, Marin, okay, the CEO of Alibaba. Yeah, Jack Ma, yeah, he's Jack also. I'm Jack Chang. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if I believe that as long as Marin is the CEO of Alibaba Group and Marin is working very well in a very good status, okay, good. Uh, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's still making good investment strategies and running good companies, right? I will just buy Alibaba because I, I believe in the person. I have this view. So I don't care what kind of a price I have. I don't care about the job of the stock market because I just want to be his shareholders. And that's the reason I want to invest in Alibaba. But I'm not going to invest in the price. Okay? So don't gamble before the news. And technical part, that's why you come here and I want to invest, uh, to let you to have some kind of professional ways to see the market, right? So the market will be... Uh, Representing represented by <laughs> candlesticks, we call it candlesticks or bar charts. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, just mm -hmm. lines. Okay, up green bars and red bars. Green bars means up and red bars means down. Okay, and the candlestick will give you four information: it's opening, closing, and highest and lowest. These four information in one candle. So it's very very effective. Okay, so by knowing the color, do I know the direction? Yes. So if I know the direction and I know the lowest point and low the I I, I have already, I can see the highest point, do I have kind of this range price range? So if the next day if the price have a breaks up the high, do I have a confirmation of the trend is going up? Because it breaks the yesterday's high, and it's very very possible that the price will be moving higher. Okay, so that's the good thing of candlesticks and there are a lot of candlestick patterns if you read the book of Japanese candlesticks almost 100 more than 100 candlestick patterns but do you need to memorize them all you see the names are very very uh, it's, the names are also very uh, hard to remember like spinning top you know bearish engulfing bullish engulfing inside bar pin bar you know kind of a uh, Triple top or double top are uh, Doji, okay, Hirami, okay, all those names. You, you don't want to remember them, okay? But I will teach you three types of candlesticks, okay? You just need to just need to remember there are only three types of candlesticks, okay? The first one is trend continuation. Trend continuation, which means the high will be higher and the low is getting higher as well or lower lows or lower highs like this means that there's do you see a direction of this candle okay so if you see this kind of candle candles basically it just tells you that the market has a direction has a trend and what you should do do you want to participate in the trend or do you want to fight against the trend how many of you want to pick tops and uh, Bottoms catching the 49. I want to fight with the trend. I want to I want to hold the market. You know, I have a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I want I can I can hold the market. No, right? Okay. So generally speaking, we want to catch a trend. We want to participate in a trend. But pay attention to your entry level, right? Because think of this: if you see now, now you see a green candle, a series of green candle, right? What is a what is the price now here, right? Is the price here? And if you buy from here, are you buying high or, or are you buying low? Yeah, you're buying high. Then, then you are not in advantage, right? And look, <clears throat> just to look more closely into these candles, right? Do you see that 
there is a wick or a shadow of the green candle here. Do you see this wick? Are you going to buy at the wick or you prefer to buy the high? The wick or high? Wick, right? Oh, of course, because now you see the wick, right? But imagine, imagine, imagine during the formation of the wick, what the color will it be at that time? Drop start, it, it comes down first, okay? So when it is up a trend and there is a downside move, and that's your opportunities, okay? So the rule is here, okay? If the trend is up, we want to buy or sell, buy. But we don't want to buy at high. We want to buy the pullback, the pullback. We want to buy the dip, buy when the price comes down, so that our entry price will be better and our upside room will be higher, okay? Don't chase the price. If you see the uptrend, you chase, every time you chase the price, I guarantee you there'll be one time that you will be buying at the highest point. And that's the time that you are being suffering a big loss. Just look at the, the gold in this year, okay? The gold ready to 1,366, okay? And a lot of people turn inside. Oh, you're not going to buy. buy it very high. And the moment they buy, it just flips down. And now, what is the price of gold? It's 1170 They lose a lot of money. And I do see a lot of investors suffer very, very big loss from buying gold. They buy from 1300 they keep buying 1,300, 1,290 buy, 1,280 buy, 1,270 buy, and now it's 1,170. And I saw the oh, there's one there's one trader who have a 500,000 US dollar account, and by doing this, he have a floating loss of 350,000. He he lost almost 70% of his capital by just catching the falling knife, buy and buy, no stop, just buy. And he buy from 1,300. He think it's cheap. He think, yeah, 1,000, very, very good support. He buy, and the price never goes up. It just keeps going down, okay? So what is the next type of <coughs> candlesticks? Is we call trend reversal. And here is a very, very crucial part, okay? If you understand how to capture trend reversal candlesticks, you will be very, very good at picking high quality trade. Because there's a saying by Paul Tudors, okay, which is a, a very, very famous trading star in the USA. Now he's, a, he's still one of the largest hedge funds owner, okay, Paul Tudors. He has said that the best trading opportunities, okay, is at <clears throat> the price that it reversals, okay? Through all the years he's trading, he said, I'm always picking up, picking the bottoms and picking the, 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 the tops. And some people are educated that you want to, you don't want to pick the bottoms, you don't want to pick the tops, you want to eat the middle. Imagine there's a fish, right? Okay, you, you chop the head, chop the tails, you just want to eat the middle because the middle has the most pro the profit, right? And what Paul Tudor said is, I have never tried to eat, eat the middle. I always eat from the head to tail because he's the one who reverses the market. Okay, by doing that, you have to be you have to be very very good at value investing, like uh, like uh, uh, that like Warren Buffett. Okay, because you have to you, you you cannot be scared when the market is fall and hold very crazy price. You have to be uh, aggressive and greedy. Okay, be a, you be greedy when other people are panic and you'll be, you be very, very careful when everyone is greedy, okay? So there will be a trend uh, reversal signals in the candlesticks. <coughs> There's one particular candle I want you to remember in this tutorial, we call pin bar, okay? Pin bar is like this, okay? You will see a very, very long tail of the candlesticks. Okay, just to, <coughs> just to uh, give you some 
uh, clue, okay? This pin actually represents the seller's force, the pressure. If there is, okay, so actually inside here, there is a mathematical logical thinking. Okay, let me ask you, if there is no sellers at this candle, what kind of a candle it should be? It should be a green candle and with a very, very firm body to here, right? Okay, let me just draw to you. <clears throat> it will be something like this. You see a green candle like this, right? If there's no seller. Okay. However, it formed it formed a pin bar which tells you what happened in the next. The buyers push the price to here, and the sellers come from here and all the way push the price to back to here again, right? So can I confirm that since I see a pin bar, I definitely I can tell the market there is a sellers there at the pin. Am I right? Okay, good. So we have to understand that if the sellers tells you that they are here, do you still want to buy? No, there will be a lot of pressure and that is institutional players because you see the bulls try very hard to push the price to the very high price, right? And who, who are selling to them? Who are selling to them? Institutions, right? Only institutional players can sell all the goods to your need. And after I, after you complete your purchase, right? You have spent your money, right? And I'm, if I'm continue selling, what will happen? Nobody are buying. If nobody are buying at that price, the price will drop, right? And if I sell more, price keep dropping. And do you think there is a retail? Retail investor will have this kind of power or institutional players will have the kind of power. Institutionals, right? So if you see a, this we call a bearish pin bar because the tail is flipping up. And typically when you see this pin bar occur at a very, very expensive price, then you should be know that, yeah, it may reverse the trend, okay? And your strategy is to Make a sell, make a sell after the pin bar was formed at the next candle. Next candle you sell, okay? And your stop loss will be just above the high. And where's your target? Let's say you sell at here. Where's your target? Yes, yeah, so you have to measure the, diff, the distance, right? This is a diff, this is a one, so you have to have this. This is your target, right? <clears throat> a stop loss normally you use you can use the average true range or you can use just maybe 20 pips or 30 pips above the pin okay but if a daily daily chart you have to maybe have another uh, like 50 50 pips yeah okay <clears throat> okay so this is a one type of a reversal we call pin bar another type of a pin bar is called engulfing engulfing looks like this the previous candle is red and the next candle is green. And the most important thing is the green candle's closing price. Okay, remember, closing price is higher than the previous opening price. Look at here. This is a closing price of the green candle. Okay, and this is opening price of the red candle. And if the candlesticks form like this, can I say that in the previous, in the yesterday, the price still is dropping, right? tells you, yeah, the, the direction is down, right? But today, it recovered back, not only to the beginning of the bearish trend, but also it creates a new high, a higher high. So as I said, if a higher high was made, what is the trend? Up. So by showing of this bearish, this engulfing, you know that the trend changed from bearish to bullish. Okay. And if this kind of thing happened in a very, very low location, cheap price, okay, just like the SPH I mentioned yesterday, if you come in my Mandarin seminar, okay, later I will show you that uh, the Singapore Press Holdings chart, chartings, okay, it just showed this kind of patterns. So it actually implies you that the SPH may go up, may go up, trend may change, okay. 
and you trade after the next the next candle you just open open your buy here stop loss below okay because you don't want to buy if the price makes a lower low okay again your reward should be two times or three times or even higher okay and the, the third type of candlesticks we call indecisive candles indecisive means is there a trend in the candle but just now we see trend continuation right have, a, have directions, right? Trend reversal also have directions, right? It just reversed. But what, what about indecisive ones? Indecisive. It just tells you have nothing. The, the market is quiet. The market is waiting for directions. Do you see this kind of uh, things before? A lot of days that you want to pick some, you know, good stocks to buy, and after you buy, nothing happens. Wait for one day, nothing happened. Wait for two day, three day, four day, yeah, still not going up, right? And then the moment you say, yeah, this is not a good one, let me just quit, right? The moment you quit, the next day it flies, right? Okay, that's because you, you, you are buying in the indecisive bars, okay? So as a professional trader, do I buy at indecisive bars? No, okay, because the profit zone is too small. Okay, because indecisive is kind of this, you see? The price will be uh, in a range, in a range, okay? The first one I'm going to tell you, this is called an inside bar, okay? Do you see this a big red candle? Do you see the second one is just within the body? The second one is just the inside of the previous one, okay? And the third one is inside the second one. So this is an inside bar tells you the price is just keep, you know, ranging in the same zone right so the saving is here the floor is here if i buy i can only i can only profit at the savings if i sell from a sale i can only take a profit at the floor right but the best strategy is you just wait for the breakout okay because after so many days of sideways or ranging right do you think that a lot of people have complete their buying or selling orders. Okay, imagine in this classroom, right? We have uh, like maybe 40 people here. Let's say half of you, okay, to my left side, half of you, you are buyers. Half of you are sellers, right? And you, you two groups are buying and selling at a very, very narrow range. So if the price is still within the range, who can tell the other side, I must be winning? Who can make this kind of guarantee? You are idiots. You are buying my things. You know, <laughs> right? The buyers will will feel that these people is you know fool, right? He, uh, why did he still sell me if he know the price will go up, right? And the seller will say the buyer will, is fool. Hey, the price will going down. And how come these people are buying at here? Don't he know that the price will going drop some more, right? So if the price still ranging. Nobody of you can tell the other side you are wrong, right? But when it breaks out, okay, here, for example, here, you see the price going up and breaks the top of the range. So who will be the happy, happier one? Buyer or seller? Buyer, okay? Because they know the buyer is making money, right? And that just tells you the seller are suffering loss. So seller are suffering a loss, Will there be any kind of a seller that will change his mind? Say, yeah, I make a, I made a mistake. Let me just correct my mistake. Do you think that is possible? And by doing this, correcting these mistakes, what are the sellers do, doing? They are buying back of their goods that are previously sold, right? So if the sellers are buying back, do you think the price will going up or down? will continue up. And the more the price ready, the more losses it will be for those sellers who refuse to cut loss. And up until certain extent, all the sellers will know, yeah, I'm wrong, I'm terribly you know, damaged. Let me just cut off my positions. And that's why, that's why the price going up because there's one group of people would know that they are made, they are made mistakes. Okay, so the more okay, the more 
the, the price stay in the range, okay, the more powerful it is when the price breaks up. So this is very, very important rules, okay? So don't participate when the price is range, but what you, you have to make your decision, you want to buy or sell after the price is breaking out, okay? So the next one I'm going to tell you is, uh, yeah, let me just, uh, let me just uh, give you this quiz, okay? So yeah, now you can see there's a, there's a bearish trend, right? Okay, and do you see a doji here? Doji means it's kind of, uh, you know, like the, the cross, okay? Do you see a, what, what is this pattern? As I teach us now, what kind of pattern it is? Is this pin bar or this is a inside bar or this is a engulfing? It's actually our inside bar first because we can see this is a mother bar and this second one is within the previous one's body, right? So inside bar and what what about this? Did did, did the is the closing price higher than the opening price of the piece candle? Yeah, so this is a bullish engulfing. So this is a very particular continuation pattern or reversal pattern. Reverse, right? So are you going to buy? Okay, raise your hand. I'm gonna buy. Okay, all those who don't raise your hand are going to sell, right? <laughs> okay, let's let's make a bet. Let's make a bet, okay? Any anyone, any bet, buy or sell now. Buy. All buy, ah. All in, ah. <laughs> ah. No, no all in. What is the maximum loss? Three hundred. Yes. Okay, let's go. Did you win? Did you win six hundred? Just calculate the, the distance, right? Your risk is this much. Okay, your risk is about this, right? Did the, did the price give you two times of this range? Yes, gives here, right? So when the price rallied to two times of your risk, what you should do? Sell. If you don't sell, see what happened? Your, all your profit is gone, right? And I said, I will be frustrated by then. Yes. So remember, the rules are important. Okay? You see, uh, no, okay, so this is what we call pattern recognition. Okay? As a professional traders, we always find our profitable patterns. Okay? This is a reversal pattern, right? And I believe that I will have at least two to one reward. So what my plan is, I'm going to buy if the reversal pattern shows, okay? And I'm going to be stop if the price going below this low, okay? If the price ever comes back and make a lower low, should I leave? Yes, you have to leave because it's very strange. You don't want to buy, you don't want to catch a falling knife, okay? But if stop, if the price didn't give you a stop, it will just goes up and until two to one, you should take your profit, okay? Because that you know that you are, you are applying the rules of the system, okay? So respect your rules, okay? Don't obey them, don't disobey them, right? Good. Okay, one stop. Okay, let's see what you want to ask. Okay, CGC, right? Okay, let's see well, what I want to know. What do you think? CG say it is a uh, NYC or yeah. the first one, right? Yeah. Canopy Growth Corp. Marijuana. It is a bio or what? It's a marijuana. 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 Oh, my God, mafia. <laughs> <laughs> mafia? <laughs> Serious? Yeah. Drugs. But they are license. licensed drug sellers. <laughs> they are selling to the hospitals or what? Is or they are just the making? Can you change one? Uh, Can you change another one? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this, this company is really good to invest? Are you sure? You're allowed to buy, but, but I mean, what kind of people will buy this? <laughs> if you ask me you want, whether you want to invest in uh, cents, right? I think I, I, I can because I'm okay with casinos. <laughs> because we have a Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, right? Sands is a, a gambling company. You know? And if anyone ever invest in Genting, Genting, the Malaysia gambling company, Genting, okay? Yeah, 
if you ask me gambling company, I, I think I'm okay, but it, what? <laughs> I just come back from New York. Uh -huh. And the one who sell marijuana is more than the marijuana from McDonald's. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, they're legal. They are legal. Okay, good. Uh, let me. Uh, for, so, uh, sorry, let me just clear all my all my all my uh, annals here. Sorry. Okay, let's just apply the, the 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 candlestick patterns, right? We learned just now three types of candles, right? Okay. Okay, this is a daily chart. Okay, let's okay let's just go to the daily chart. What we see is there is a very very strong bullish trend in the year of two o one seven. From June, it just rally to you know it makes the price rally from five point three four to thirty five. Oh my God, almost six times. Yeah. Right. And then, right? Do you see? Okay. Can you can you identify a pattern that I teach us now? Can you see your pin bar? No. This one, right? <laughs> very very big pin, and after the pin, the price. Going up or going down? Going down. So this is a point that if the big pain shows, you should sell or you don't buy the pain. You want to buy the low, right? Okay, let me just give you another example. Uh, what's, what's, okay, the price today, they actually, no, this is yesterday or today? Yesterday, yesterday. yesterday. I don't know what happened today. It looks like the price made a big reversal by gapping up, gapping up. Yeah. Okay, the price, was closing at 224 and yesterday it opens at 32. Some news happened. There is some, and okay, what news happened? Uh, the news is a company called Constellation Brands, which is a parent company for the beer company from uh, Corona. Anybody uh, seen Corona before? Yeah. The so Corona mother company uh, will increase the state company. Okay. Then they have a warrant to actually. With an option to actually in the future to control, take control uh, of the company. So this is what happened. Good. Okay, let me just give you the answer of my my uh my view. Okay, so for these stocks, okay, you have to you have to mark the highest point of this uh, thirty six because why? Because this is the highest point of this stock ever. So do you think this is the most expensive price of this stock? Yes. Okay, and then what will happen? I mean, what have happened is the price just uh, going up, and now it's thirty-two, right? Okay, so just imagine the people who bought from this. Uh, sorry, here, the people who bought from this zone are they buying high or are they buying low? They're buying high, relatively high, right? So. This stock, okay, you have to make this very, very clear conclusion is if in the future the price can never break 36.40, you shouldn't buy. Okay, if the price going up, okay, so we, I, I will wait for the price to retest of this area. And I will look in the price action. What if, what if the price makes this kind of candlesticks? It tells you a lot of sellers are selling. Yeah. Okay, so although just now James mentioned there's a maybe some warrant that you can buy more stocks, you can you know have some kind of benefits, right? But uh, yeah, but you know that you are not buying cheap, you are buying high, and especially when the price rally into the previous we call the selling zones, you have to be very very careful, unless the price going up. Okay, means that there are still big players who want to push their demand or up, continuous up. Otherwise, you have to be very, very careful with this. You don't want to invest now. And you may consider to sell the stock, to short it, and you just put your stop loss above the previous high. Okay? But I will suggest that you don't, do, you don't do any decision now okay, until the price goes into the zone. And you like, just, we just watch. You let the buyers and the sellers fight first, okay? And after fight, you will know who will win, right? Yeah. And you join the winning side. Is that, isn't it better? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we have to wait for the price action to show. Gives us more 
information, give us more clues, okay? We have to, I have to wait for a bearish pattern occur to short, or I have to wait for the price to continue, continue pattern, right? Continue up, break up and go back and I buy. So that's two things I will do. I will not buy or sell the stock at this moment because there's nothing here, okay? But I do spot a good opportunity of this stock is here. Let me just highlight to you. Uh, can you see there's a series of candle here? Can you see these three candles? One, two, three. Let me just uh, hi uh, hide the, the next, okay? And this is, uh, okay, belongs to which, which category? Trend continuation, trend reversal, or indecisive? indecisive? Very good. So indecisive means there's nothing, no directions, right? Okay, so by the trading rules of inside the bar is, okay, when the price breaks up the high of the inside bar or the mother bar, you should buy. Buy the breakout. So the moment, okay, here, can you buy? Yes, yes you can buy. And where's your stop loss? Below the, below the range, right? Okay, so imagine you bought at 16, okay, here. You bought at uh, about uh, this level, mm -hmm. it's about, yeah, 16. So the price, when the price breaks up 16, <clears throat> you make a buy, okay? And you set a stop loss at 14.80, or maybe 14, let's say 14.60, <clears throat> okay? So what is the difference? Again, 16 minus 14.6, that is, one point four one dollar forty cents distance right and what is our risk three hundred so how many shares should I buy so I have to use three hundred to divide by one point six right so three hundred let's say one one point five okay make it easier three hundred divided by one point five you have to buy 200 shares, right? Okay, I believe most of you are very new to this kind of calculating methods, but this is very, very helpful, okay? Because a lot of people are just buying stocks, you know, ah, I want to buy 10,000 shares, I want to buy 1,000 shares. They are just, you know, spending all their money into the stocks. We say all in, okay, no, don't all in. You have to measure your risk, okay? If your risk is $300, you can only buy 200 shares. Right, so 200 shares, if every share I lose $1.5, I guarantee I only lose $300, right? And since I risk 300, my reward will be 600, right? So my distance is 1.5, so I times two is $3. So I have to wait for the price to rally to 16 plus three, which is $19, right? Okay, so did it give my two to one risk? Yeah. Yes, and I can tell you uh, advanced stay, uh, skills is if you think that the trending is very well and you want to catch the, the next, the following moves, okay, what you should do is now at 16, okay, remember how many shares you have? 200. Can you sell 100? Yes, you sell half. And, and let me just tell you why you should sell half because the moment you sell half, how, many, how much money you earn? 300, what is your initial risk? 300, okay? Is now you don't have any worries about uh, losing money anymore because you have already put the pockets into $300, right? And now how many shares you left? 100. And even the worst situation happened if the price going from 19 and hit your stop loss, how much money you're going to lose? No, not zero. You only have 100 shares. And these 100 shares, we're going to make a damage of $1.5, right? So only 150. And the first trade, the first profit, you take 300. So by doing this, you cut half, you take half profit. It's actually a confirmation that you guarantee you win $150 already, right? This trade will never going to make you uh, losing money. Okay, so the worst situation is you win 150. If the price go back, hit, hit your stop loss. And what, what would be the best situation? What's your selling? 
no sitting is the, the we, we say the right the the, 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 the the sky is the limit right okay so and you just have 100 shares you still have 100 shares right and can i say that these 100 shares now becomes a risk free trade for you and just risk free means it's free you just own it by paying nothing right and do you want to hold it for long longer and maybe it will just go up right so you can see if you go you hold from 16 you hold 100 shares right just going up going up going up going up. okay 34 30 you, you may just sell at any point of time you think yeah i, I have made a, enough money already let me just start it yeah. right and then that's that's how you actually can doubles or triples of your risk or returns okay and imagine you sold at let's say sold at 32 maybe you're not the highest uh maybe after the price making a red candle you sold at 32 from 16 to 32, oh my God, your 100 shares earned 1,600, right? And what is your initial risk? 300. Total profit is 1,600 plus the previous 300, 19, right? So 1,900, 1,900 divided by 300. What is your risk reward ratio? Six to one, okay? One trade, six to one. Are you happy? Are you happy? 300 for 1,900. This kind of trading results, look by risking 300, you are getting back 1,900. And at the point when it gives you a two to one risk ratio, you become risk free trade. Wow, my risk is very, very limited, right? And guess what he, how many shares can he buy? You guess? I think he's okay to lose maybe 3,000, not 300, okay? So, yeah, he may re he may just invest two thousand shares. Right, two thousand shares is nothing. Two thousand shares times sixteen thousand is just uh, like thirty two k US dollar, and he just win nineteen thousand in this trade. Okay, so this is just a calculation. Okay, so trading is a game of probabilities and calculations. You have to be very very you know familiar with this mathematical calculation, but just uh, like it's just adding or minus or multiplies or divide all these four okay you don't need you don't you don't need to become a financial engineer or, or you don't have a like master of finance okay everyone can trade it's just like how you want to build your systems okay so let me just uh, uh because now it's 847 okay uh let me just go back did you check with the icon huh? air condition yesterday is close to too early okay so profit or patterns, all right, let me just uh, review that <coughs> what kind of uh, patterns in the market has, okay? The patterns are the unique weapons for experienced traders because they, uh, the frequency is high, okay? They can be repeatable and you need to build your, your own profit or patterns. So what are mine, guess? Guess what, what kind of patterns am I, I, I'm using? You don't know, right? <laughs> Okay, let me just give you a hint. Okay, what, what are these shapes? Geometric shapes. We see triangle, we see rectangular, we see triangle, we see a parallel, we see channel, we see a wedge, okay? We see ascending triangles or descending triangles, right? But are you going to memorize all, all of this? No, it's too, it's, it's just a, a very, very, um, not efficient okay what's this first one double top okay head and shoulder double bottom reverse and head shoulders right these are the very very common technical you know patterns but I can tell you that they are not working they are not working sometimes it works and sometimes they fail but the why I say they are not very uh, profitable is for example here okay in a double top okay the the books okay the technical books will teach you that where is your entry point is here this is a neckline okay because it's double top right so you should sell this stocks or you should sell this thing when the price break here so where's your entry is here right and where's your stop above the high right above the high okay and where's your target he said yes the double top will give you a one two one 
measurement. And now, after today's workshop, you know that a one-to-one -one reward risk ratio are going to make you financial freedom. No, it never will happen. Unless you have a very, very high winning ratio, right? Correct? If you only have 50%, you are just, you know, still, James will be very happy. They are donating <laughs> commissions one-to-one. -one. Okay? So the, 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 uh, the, the disadvantage of traditional patterns is because they will have a lousy entry, okay? Higher risks and lesser reward, okay? So what I mind, let me just show you, okay? Now, this is advanced patterns. What we have is, okay, this is uh, A, B, C, D patterns, this is a guardy pattern, this is a cipher pattern, this is a bat pattern, and this is a bullish pattern, okay? A lot of you can, what you can see, this is called harmonic patterns. Okay, a harmonic patterns occurs very, very frequently in all time frame. Remember, all time frame, which means you can not only uh, you will have see this pattern in one hour chart or in four hour chart or daily or weekly. It will just repeat. Okay, and the moment it completes, it just tell you, okay, the price may go the other directions. Okay, I have been using harmonic patterns for more than five years. And I can tell you that all those best entry point I catch is from harmonic patterns. For example, in the year, I can't remember, 215 or 214, when the oil going to 26, okay, I told all of my clients in the bank, say, now it's good to buy the oil, okay? Why? Because oil has made a ABCD patterns. Okay, let me just show you what is ABCD patterns, okay? So here it is, so you go to, Check oil, okay? So we go to weekly chart, okay, here. Before it is too low, okay? The moment I check there's ABCD pattern, and I know that the price will have a second wave of down, okay, is at November 15th, okay? So in, in 2015, 2015, November, uh, December, okay, when the price break the previous law of 38, I know that it will go to this point, this point, 26.12, okay? So this is called an ABCD pattern. Let me just uh, give you this idea, okay? So ABCD, AB is the first leg, the first move, first wave. After the first wave, the price will go, have a correction, okay, pull back, okay? So first wave, pull back, and then goes to second wave, and a very, very interesting thing is, a lot of times, okay, a lot of times, the second wave, the length will be exactly the same wave. Okay, so calculate. How much, how, ma how much money did all you drop in the first wave? Let me just show you, okay. So the high is here, correct? The A point, 62.56. What is the B? 37.38, okay, roughly, how much? 62 minus 37, about 25, am I right? $25, okay. Where is C point? Where is C point? 50.90. So 50.90 minus 25, how much is that? 25.90, 90, right? Okay, let's see what happened. Wow. What is the lowest price of the oil? You see here? 26.12. It didn't actually, you know, missed by more than 50 pips. So the moment I see here, yeah, oil 26 hit. And remember, what does what did Goldman Sachs said at that time? 18. The Goldman Sachs says oil will, will drop to 18. I remember, I remember that because and I published this chart in trading view, you know. So it actually record this, record my ideas, okay? Selfie, all right? Who are, who are selling, right? <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah,
Let me just find. Let me just find the oils, okay? Because I I made a too so many charts in oil. Uh, two one six. Oh my god. Maybe it just don't cannot reckon. Uh, first is TVC charts. Last time is FXCMs. Okay, never mind. So this is ABCV patterns, right? So I captured this oils low, okay? And then very very interesting happens. Can you? Okay, guys. Can you see a very, very strong bullish move after the 26? Reversal, if there's one. Okay, let me just highlight to you. It's here. From 26 to here, right? One way up. Okay, no correction inside. So, can I say there's might be another ABCD for this second wave of bullish move? Bullish. So, what would be the target? It's about a 64.65, okay? So let's say, let's just watch what happened later. The price going up, going up, okay, now, okay. I changed a little bit because the price just to make another high. So now I have to use, I have to measure the whole length of the, the entire bullish move to here. Do you agree that the price has a very nice bullish move from this point to this point? Are they are the lowest point and the highest point, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I use the function of trading view provide you right click and and choose clone. Clone means you just uh, duplicate the same line here. Okay, let me just drop to here. Okay, all right, and let's see what happened. Oh, okay, 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 70. So, and then at 71.36, I told all those clients, now you can sell you already <laughs> because ABCD just complete another time. And how much they win? They buy from 26 to 71. Okay, 50 over dollars. They buy one contract is 1,000 barrels. So 1,000 times 50. They, they can win 50,000 US dollar per contract. And some of my clients are, are very, very wealthy. They have 100 lots, like him. <laughs> These guys used to trade 100 lots in oil. Super big players. One day he can lose 100,000. 100, some day he can win 200,000. One, one day, one million, right? He used to become so bad, you know, lose too much. And no stop loss. Right? That's, <laughs> that's, that's what happened before he met me. And this, uh, yeah. He's one of my students in, uh, in Canada. He fly all the way from Canada, from Toronto to Shanghai, and uh, <coughs> follow me to Singapore and join today's lessons. And he used to, you know, he, 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 he lost one million in one day because he don't know what is stop loss, what is the daily loss limit. But the good thing is, just uh, in just two weeks, in the recent two weeks, he has... Uh, <clears throat> successfully turned his account from 50,000 to 100,000 within two weeks. And this time he applies all the rules I teach. There's no any single trade loss more than 500. And his winning trades is all about 1,000. And that's why he can double his account within two weeks. Okay, so I believe that he can grow back his one million as soon as possible. Okay, but let's just finish this ABCD. So see, the ABCD feels in, you see, a very, very beautiful moves comes down and now the price is below the ABCD patterns. So that's why I'm, I'm foreseeing the oil will have a deep correction. It will drop to this target. Okay, let me just give you the target. The target is, okay, here. 56.46, all right? So the oil may drop to here, or it may join to 44.86, okay? And let me ju let's just think what will happen for this. What is the fundamental uh, view of this? Okay. Maybe recession, but couldn't, it couldn't be a, a, uh, because the dollar is too strong, because this is uh, oil, it is, uh, the, uh, it, the, the value are based on USD, right? 
if the USD is going very high, the oil price will drop, right? And another thing is, you, you can see what will ha what happened to the dollar Canadian, the Canada. Yeah, um, Alcon is gone again. Okay, looking at the, the this is a US dollar versus Canadian Canadian dollar. Okay, we know that the oil has a negative correlation with dollar CAD. Okay, because Canada is a has a lot of our oil inventories. Okay, so when oil goes up, the Canada the Canadian dollar will appreciate. The US CD will going down because this is a dollar versus Canadian, okay? So can you see that now can it, the dollar CAD is actually in a bullish channel? Can you see this channel? Okay, so if the dollar Canadian keeps moving up, it just implies the oil may going down. Okay, so basically I will say, I will say that because of the dollar going strong. And, and if DXY going strong, normally the stocks will not be very well. You can see that a lot of money runs from runs it just escape from Europe, escape from Turkey, escape from China, escape from Singapore, maybe. Yeah, all those in Indonesian, yeah, crash. And you, if you see Hong Kong shares recently, have you ever noticed that the, the dollar Hong Kong, the, the USD HKD now is actually a, at a very, very high price, mm -hmm. right? And that's a show that the, the money is. Is changing to dollar, not change, not holding as Hong Kong dollar. Okay, so some some Hong Kong shares traders use this as a sign of when the money is out of the Hong Kong markets or in the Hong Kong markets. So if Hong Kong markets is a very very cheap and people start to buy in the Hong Kong shares, they have to convert more Hong Kong dollars, right? So there's a demand for Hong Kong dollars. So that will push the USD HKD going down. Okay, so when is the best time to to invest in Hong Kong? Dollar Hong Kong shares. Let's just have an example. You can see now. Wow, my God! It's just it's just as a this is. A, <laughs> it, 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 you see the price. The price did not come down. You can see that there's no demand for Hong Kong dollars right now. It's all demand for U.S. dollars. Okay, and you look at the dollar sing. You look at the sing dollar. USD SGD. Okay, it's going up. Okay, so be prepared the dollar sing may rally to 1.44 soon. And if you go and check monthly chart, it will be very, 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 very scary because just telling you the, it's just, you see, the dollar sing is actually at a very, very low location. Okay, it may just flip up all the way. I will say it may going up to 201A's high, like 1.5 at least. You're going to test this place at least. So you you can consider to buy some dollar just in case that you want to go into US to travel, right? You don't want to, you know, <laughs> change the exchange uh, change the dollar when the exchange is too too bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some of my clients are here. Uh, two weeks ago, we held a property talk. Okay. Normally, when I invite my speaker to come, I don't. Uh, I don't talk about my speaker's view. I only talk after you left. Okay, okay. okay? So, <laughs> so now you want to fight with me or? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I just want, want to emphasize because a few weeks ago, this guy who is a property uh, agent, right? Who is a, he's a manager, district manager of a, a lot of property <laughs> agents. He gave a very strong view of the property. Right? Remember? Right? So this, based on this chart, you should be very careful about single property. Yeah. Right? Because dollar is leaving this place. Yeah. In, the in money market. is going out. It's emerging, leaving the emerging market, including Singapore. So it depends on how fast and how long it will last. And another thing, if you're in the property market, is you have to think about how the interest rate will go. So bear in mind, the US, US dollar interest rate is going up, and Singapore is still at very low, nearly zero interest rate. And with dollar going up, the interest rate differential is getting bigger and bigger. These are the things we need to really, really. Yeah. Yes. And you can see now a lot of the banks, central banks, have increased their rate. The Turkey, okay. I think Korea and also Indonesia, right? Indonesia uh, just increased their interest uh, rate. Okay. Why? Why did the central bank increase their interest rate? 
to prevent more money going out, right? They want to keep some money, okay? Uh, and let me just give you another chart and uh, give you a super, super good property investment opportunities, all right? <laughs> okay, let's just see. Okay, this is actually happened uh, in the last week when, I, when I'm when i talking with my students. We're just uh, analyzing Aussie US dollar. Okay, so you can see here the Aussie US dollar in the monthly chart, okay? Now, okay, according to what we learn, okay, do you think the price is in a continuation or reversal or, you know, sideways? Let me just give you this. This is called a bearish flag, okay? This is a correction. And now do you see the price is going down? And it's continue going down, right? Down, 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 down. And it breaks certain important supporting level. And I can tell you that do you think, okay, let me just uh, use the ABCD patterns, right? We just uh, learned, okay? This is, a, this is a move from 0 0.94 to 0 0.68. Okay, we copy this wave, we copy this wave and we move it to the recent high. Okay, it may be scary, but may not happen, but it just gives us a thinking room, right? It tells you that Aussie dollar may drop to 0 0.548. And that is the time in 2013. So it is still possible because Aussie dollar used to be at the, the price. Okay, so in currency world, because Australia is a sovereign government, right? And so does the USA, right? So Australia is also a very good country, have a lot of resources. So is, are you, uh, do we believe that the Australian government is going to be, you know, bankrupt? No, the Australia will just be there. And the, all the people in Australia are still living. They still need to, you know, making expenses, living, buying properties, buying foods, right? So although the Aussie dollar versus US dollar drops too much, but the living standard in the Australia will not change much, right? And that's the best time because Aussie is so cheap. Your $1 today becomes, you know, like 30% more value when Aussie going down. And trust me, if Aussie going to there, it's good for you to go into buy some Australian properties in Sydney or in the Golden Beach. Yeah, because last time I think there's one kind of a, a period that a lot of uh, because Singapore market, Singapore property markets are already very hot, and then there are there are this kind of Australian uh, developers, okay. yeah, then collab col uh, collaborate with Singapore banks and offering you the loan. You know, you can you can loan with take loans from Singapore banks and to buy Australian properties, right? At that time, I think the price is still very high, so I don't want on your guys to buy, but you can look for the time that when Australia dollar is really cheap. But by doing so, you have to keep US dollar first. You cannot keep Sing dollar. Because why? Because if you check Aussie to Sing, Aussie to Sing dollar, because they are all we call the major, okay? They are not all we call the non-US dollar currencies, right? You can see here, the Aussie Sing dollar don't have much, you know, downside room. Basically means the Aussie will fall and the Sing dollar will fall, right? Those currencies are depreciating waste dollars, right? So if you're holding Singapore dollars now, and even when the Aussie going very cheap, I can tell you the cheapest price is 0 0.9, okay? It will not break 0 0.9, okay? So which now it's 0 0.99, right? So will your, your, will your Sing dollar become more uh, profitable when it's going to 0 0.90? No, right? But if you're holding dollar, you can have extra 30%, you know, buying power. And, and even uh, you just uh, add on those like additional stamp duties that Australia government puts on you, you're still profitable, still very, very, you know, it's good deal, okay? All right, okay, good. So this is other advanced pattern. So I have already tell you the difference is the entry point is so different. The W, okay, this is a double bottoms and uh, the, the, the neckline is here. So, so according, according to... Hello, hello. Yeah, uh, due to the, the hotspot, the out of battery, so we are... Uh,
disconnect for a while, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So let, let's just uh, finish this uh, workshop. Okay, good. So the difference between between the traditional entry and uh, my profit of patterns you see here. Okay. Now, this, now this is an ordinary people. They buy from here. They bought from 1.0. Okay. Can you see that? That line is here, right? They buy from one. The stop loss is 1.04. Okay, they are 400 pips stop loss, and they are aiming for one to two. Okay, but what is mine? You can see here. I bought from here. When the time, by the time when the ordinary people, tra uh, conventional traders are buying from here, I already win a lot of pips. I can consider to take profit. I sell the goods to those people who want to chase. Okay, and about indicators how many of you are relying on indicators before moving averages do you know moving averages okay do you know uh, rsi stochastic macd right okay a lot of indicators okay let's see what happened if you apply all the indicators okay wow so many ichimoku william r okay question why are they free if they are helping you to making money, right? Why are the, these indicators free? Why should there be a free, you know, cake, free, free bisc lunch. yeah, free, free for you, free lunch for you? And look at the chart. Oh my God! What kind, what kind of uh, information you have? Too many informations, right? Some are telling you you can buy, some are telling you you can sell. And you just, uh, you know, you just contradicting with each other, okay? And I say that, uh, oh my eyes, <laughs> right, oh my eyes. Yeah, I, I, I have, I, I saw this kind of uh, traders. Yeah, some traders in my, in my trading decks. He are uh, used to have a lot of indicators, a lot of layers. And every time you say, hey Jack, can, uh, can, can I buy here? I say why? Yeah, the, the MECD is have a golden cross. And I say the RSI is overbought. <laughs> Are you screen to buy? Uh, okay. And the next time you say, hey Jack, I size over what can I sell? So MCD is going up. So why 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 do you sell when the RSI size is going going good is is uh, and very high and uh, and why the last time right they're telling me to oh, look look at MACD. He's he's uh, uh he's uh, just uh, confused. Every time that seems that the indicators are you, you you have to pick the right indicators right but how do you know which one is right before the market goes you don't know so you have to try but if you try both you are just canceling each other right you buy one and buy sell is you, you just do nothing okay <laughs> uh, yeah let me show you the watch list okay let me just show you uh okay uh, there is actually a, a a place for you guys to check all the indicators, okay? It's, uh, it's called investing.com, okay? I used to watch that, watch that when I when I just joined this uh, uh, career, and I used to use this uh, information and give my clients and ask them to watch it. And then after just one month, I, 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 I give up because let me just, uh, tell you okay let's see the gold okay we see the gold huh? Commod uh, commodities gold right the gold is very bearish right now because it drops very fast right okay the gold and we go technical analysis okay and this investing they have already give you all these indicators here okay you can see here, these are all the indicators. Okay, RSI, Stochastic, Stochastic, RSI, MACD index, William, CCI, ATR, high lows, ultimate oscillator, I will see bull bear power, you know. Three buy, four sell, natural three. What's the result? What's your decision? Tell me. Sell, 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 sell. <laughs> oh, buy, 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 buy. But you see, here yeah, some three, three indicators tell you buy, three tells you sell, some tell you overbought. So what's your summary? Strong sell. But the question is, did he tell you where to sell? Now or later? Right. And where's your stop? No. Where's your target? You don't know. So can you can you derive a trading plan according to these indicators? 
No, just tell you directions, right? Okay, so if you need directions, can you just ask your daughter, just say, hey, Mary, uh, dear, do you think this one is going up or that's going down? Yeah, going down. Anyone can give you directions, right? Why should indicators give you? And you just trust indicators. Why are you not just tr trusting your eyes, right? The indicator is not indicating, okay? Indicator is just a summary of the historical performance, okay? It's just because the, in the past 50 days, the gold drops too much and gives this summary that is strong sell because it's very, very bearish, okay? But it will not tell you that you can sell now and the gold will not going up or going down, okay? You cannot tell. Okay, so don't use indicators, that's my suggestion, but you can use indicators as a supporting tools to enhance your probabilities of winning, but never use indicator, indicators as your opening, you know, uh, the, the logic, okay? You don't, you don't open trade based on indicators, okay? So introduction of structure, okay? I promise that I will teach you this, right? Okay, so a simple but effective trading strategy, okay? One of my favorite patterns, okay? Structure breaking out strategy, okay? So the first step, step one, step one, okay? Identify a horizontal structure which reject the price for many times. Reject or hold the price for many times. So here, can you see that there is a structure? It's kind of like a uh, what? What's this? Ceiling. Right, or I, I like uh, I'm, I'm using this one to you know, pop, pop it right whenever the price going I just you not know, going back okay going back going back going back right so these structures are representing what kind of what kind of our traders or forces buyer forces or seller for seller forces right okay so can I say that this place is a lot of sell, selling pressure here right okay and the second step is Okay, you wait for the place to be broken. Okay, by the definition of broken, it has to be a outside return, outside return, which means the closing price of the breaking out candle has to be higher than the zone. Okay, so second, okay, wait for price to break. The body must close above the okay, Can you see this green candle? Is the green candle closing higher than this zone? Yes, right? Okay, now we have outside return. What is our strategy? Are we going to buy right now? No. Okay, don't buy at the top. You have to buy them, <coughs> pull back, okay? So, see here? <coughs> see the price? Break out, did the price come back? Yes, right? And what other price action here? Is the price Trending or indecisive or reversing? Three types. Which one do you think? Indecisive, right? Which means sideways, right? Okay, so the price didn't willing to going down. So can you say that, yeah, there will be some buyer joining me, right? Okay, and where's your stop? I buy here, I wait for the breakout, I buy here. Where's my stop? The rule is the stop is below the origin of the move okay here and i say this is the origin of the bullish move mm -hmm. because the price rallies from here and one candle two candle breaks out right so if the price going down and the break is low can i say it's no longer a bullish trend so do you still want to buy no so that's why we put a stop here right <coughs> so from here my entry is determined my stop loss is determined right and where's my target? At least, the first target is at least two to one risk, right? So my risk is here. I have to wait for the price to cover two to here, correct? Okay, so now I have my entry, I have my stop loss, and I have my target. And is my trading plan complete? Right? Can I trade? Okay, raise your hand if you want to trade. Now, buy. How many? Oh, okay, good. So, what's next? You can see here, wow, we just buy exactly at the lowest point of the next week. Why we can capture so high 
profit because we are buying, we are participating in the trend, right? And when did we participate? Do we participate in the early stage of trend or in the middle stage or in the ending stage? Mm -hmm. And that's the ability that uh, we have to master. Because previous, you can see, it is downtrend, right? Downtrend, downtrend, downtrends. So you have sellers here, and that's one day form. Sellers are gone. Let's come back, retest. The buyer kicks in, right? And you have to join the buyer, not the seller. Although at that stage, you, you think that it's still bad trend. But when a breakout happens, so it tells you that the trend has changed. And you have to join the new trend. So see, break out, don't buy here, wait for, pull back to the structure, we buy stop loss here, did it ever hit my stop loss? No, and it just right here, and um, until here, can I say that I, I already win two times of my risk? And again, apply the rules just now. Example, if for example, I buy two loss, right? Okay, until here, I have made 300, now become 600, right? Can I take profit of six, six, uh, 300 out? And now it take back 600 to your profit, right? And do you, can you hold the rest? Because now the rest position becomes risk free. Even the price for me back, keep your stop loss. You still earn money. You still earn money. It's free for you. So things it is free, can you hold it for a while? Yes, it's free. You are open to hold. The worst situation is you don't you, you, you still earn 100 people. The best situation is there's no sky is the limit, right? Sky is the limit. You, you can't you tell me how many, what is the reward ratio here? It's, uh, let me see my chart. It's about 13.6. Uh, so you earn 13.6 times risk in this trade. And your initial risk is 300, okay? 300 <coughs> times 13, you learn, you earn, right? 4,008, yeah? Okay, so anyone wants to do this business? Investing 300, you may lose that, but you may have meaning of 48,000, oh, sorry, 4,008, <coughs> okay? Good, so. Yeah, this is my calculation of the, the pips. Okay, from 1.06 to 1.19, 1,300 pips. One lot is 10, 10 US dollar per pip. You can win 13,000 US dollar by trading one lot. Okay, if you're trading two lots, yeah, it just doubles. Okay, good. <coughs> Part five, trading plan. What is a trading plan? Okay, a trading plan must set before, before you take any trade, right? How many of you have ever made a decision without a plan? Okay, raise hand, raise hand. Okay, what is the result? Bad. Okay, it's just like uh, for me, I was, I will, I will say, uh, compare trading as shooting. You know, and there are two types of two types of soldiers in the in the not markets in the battlefield, right? One is using the machine guns. Okay, machine guns spray. Okay, you, uh, in the good thing, you will the, the machine guns will have a lot of good efficiency of uh, you know hitting enemy or sniper. Which one do you prefer? Sniper, right? Because we are not uh, you know the government. We don't have a lot of money for us to you know spray. We have to pick those high quality trades and to strike those good trades, right? So you have to act. As a sniper, so what is the first thing of sniper? First thing you do. Yes, you have to, you have to wait for the target to come into a scope, right? Okay, and pounds. Okay, you adjust the distance. You 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 just calculate the wind speed from the, the humidity, right? And then everything is good. You pull your trigger, right? Right. Okay? So a trading plan is like this kind of uh, working models, okay? If you have no trading plans, you are just shooting randomly. There's there there's nothing there. You just anyhow just shoot, and you will waste a lot of bullets. And the bullets, it's a cost for you. Okay, 
So a trading plan has to be set before you take a trade. You have to think, what is the direction now? <coughs> Bullish, bearish, or sideways? So what have I taught you to answer this question? What do we look? Candlesticks, right? It is continuing going up or continue going down. If it's continue going up, is bullish. Continue going down, is bearish. If it is indecisive, it is sideways, right? What if, what, what, what if it is just reverse, just showing your engulfing candle? Yeah, maybe the trend is going to change. So you, you know which direction. You have to pick a direction, okay? And you should take a uh, a trading action you want to buy or you want to sell or you want to buy and sell okay you want to buy low and sell high or you only want to focus on buy buy the low buy the low buy the low okay okay <sighs> buy low sell high stop when you should exit with small loss profit when you should exit with a good profit so when when you should exit with a top loss okay. of course my trade loss is big right my maximum loss is I, I should left. Another thing is your stop loss level should be put at a place that you change your view. For example, I, I want to buy this thing, right? I want to buy this thing until okay, unless it breaks a lower low. Right? So the lower low is a place that I change my view because since the break lower low, I change my mind from bullish to bearish. That's why I put so much here. Okay, <coughs> profit. What is the calculating tools for profit? Two times of your risk distance. Okay, you have to remember that. Okay, so this is what you have. Okay, in the beginning stage, amateurs. Okay, you may not have very, very good winning ratio. Okay, maybe out of four trades, you can only win one trade. Okay, but if you start to finding good. Quality trade, okay. Even your winning ratio is is pathetic, only twenty five percent. Can see here twenty five percent, right? Okay, but did you lose money? No, because if your risk ratio is one to three, okay. Because beginners, what are the killers of beginners? Let me just highlight, okay. Some people who want to buy in. There will be one time he will just lose all the money because every time he bought in, you know, what if and one time he no stop was boom, crash 90%, like fun, right? Okay? So people who buy in every time confirm fail. People who don't have stop loss confirm fail. Okay. People don't know trading plans, anyhow trade. Okay. So some win, lose, win, lose. Okay. It just they are just you are just a working for brokers. Okay, there's only one type of trader will survive. Okay, it's those traders who will only have four results in their trading. Okay, what are the five results in normal trading? We have big big loss, we have small loss, we have break even, and then we have small win, and then we have big win, right? Uh, all the five results here. Is there any other result? No, right? Okay. And what if from today to the end of this world, okay, all your trading results, you, elim you eliminate big losses. You only have small wins, small loss, break even, and big wins. Think of this. Like minus 100, or minus 300, minus 300, plus 600. Plus 600, plus 2000, minus 300, plus 500, plus zero, minus 300. Are you going to win more easily? Yeah, so trading is not difficult, okay? You have just to apply the rules, okay? No big losses. Big losses will only happen in two situations. First, you buy too much. You have 10,000 and you just invest all your 10,000. All in, okay? Second, you don't have stop loss to protect your account. Okay, so you don't need to be very accurate, but you can still survive. And then you just need to enhance a little bit of the win ratio, okay? More than 50% or 55 or 60%, okay? For me, if I stay above 60%, I'm very, very satisfied. 
I will be very, very rich, okay? Because I have made a record that within three days, I can do 30 trades. No, sorry, 27 trades. Three days, 27 trades. Guess my winning ratio? 96.7%. It's 96.7% in 30 trades, not, not three trades, right? I win three, you can see it's luck. But I continuously win, win 26 out of 27. That is professional, right? Because every time I buy up at a very low price, okay? Uh, let me just uh, show, show them the history, okay? Lord. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I have to announce that for the students from uh, Golden, uh, I think now the session is uh, end. Okay, thanks for coming because time is really late, nine thirty, right? And uh, for all the uh, the other students joining by internet, okay, you are free to uh, to continue. Okay, yep. Thanks for teacher Ling. Okay, thank you. All right, good. So I'm going to release uh, uh, just give you guys how. What is my, my what is my trading result? Okay. Uh, okay, here, yeah. This is my website from my trading academy. I have uploaded my uh, real trading history it's here. Okay, let me just show you the live trading results, okay? Okay, here. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, the recent trade I made, okay, from 2018 August 8 to August 13, just uh, three days ago. And so from last, last, it's actually five days, okay. Uh, the, the thing, okay, what? The plug in, okay, it's okay. All right, there, I'm, I'm shorting, I'm shorting two things. I'm shorting euro and I'm shorting gold, okay. And you can see here, okay. Uh, my my data from August seventh, right? So August seven to August thirteen, six days, okay. Okay, and uh, I have complete forty one trade. Okay, forty one trade, and my winning ratio here is eighty point forty nine percent. Okay, and my average win is three hundred seventy four US dollars. My average loss is 93.30 so what is my risk reward ratio 97 3.1 1 to 4 right so a 4 to 1 r ratio plus or 80 percent weight plus 41 trade you can already tell me how much money i made okay which is the answer is i made i my capital was is only $2,500. And I grew my account to $14,500. How many times? Six times. Yeah, that is 600% return within six days. What is my annual return ratio? Ah, oh, it's terrible, right? <laughs> Cannot believe it, right? And this, I don't do it just for once, okay? I, I just show you. So this August, I made 2005 to 14. <clears throat> now, this is a trade that I, I uh, told, <clears throat> I short gold from 1342. Okay, 1342 to 1171, you know how much money I take. The risk reward ratio is 30 to one, okay? <clears throat> June, I grow from 7,000 to 20,000, okay? How many trades? 39 trades, 39 trades, win ratio 74%, above 50, right? And what is the reward risk? 371 to 97, again, okay. still four to one. Okay, so that is the standard I, I'm, I'm doing. A four to one average risk reward ratio, 70% or 80% winning ratio, plus 40 or 30 trades. Okay, and I made 6,005 to, no, sorry, 7,000 to 20,000, okay, June. <clears throat> 218, May 23rd is a lucky day for me because one day I win 8,000 US dollar. I double my account within one day. And that is not by luck. That is by structural breakout. 
the one I told you, because that day the gold, the, the euro breakout structure pulled back and short. Another way, pull back and short again. Okay, so I, I have participated in three waves of downtrend. Okay, and that's I I take. Okay, so I have made 21 trades. 21 trades within that day. Okay, my winning ratio is 90.48%. My risk ratio is 483 to 179, about 2 to 1, right? And that's why I made nine uh, one hundred percent a day. Then in May six thousand to eighteen thousand and forty. You can see here I just grow my account and then I just take profit, withdraw the money. Okay, so forty seven trades, seventy six percent winning ratio, risk four to two to three to seven. Not so good, but still above one to one, and I my winning ratio is better. Right? So I made from 6,000 to 18,000, triple my account, okay? That's in May. In April, 4,000 to 20,000, okay? And now this one, this one is one of my best record, okay? I, I don't think I can beat it anymore, <laughs> okay? Because it's really hard to catch that uh, trade, okay? Uh, from February 2nd to February 8th, okay? About five days. My working days. The trade I take, my deposit is only two thousand US dollar. Okay. The my ending profit uh, equity is twenty thousand. You can see here. There's I totally I made twenty seven trade. I win twenty six. I lose only one. Right, so win ratio is ninety six point seven three percent. My win ratio four point two versus ninety nine. 4.421, and that's why I can make from 2,000 to 20,000 within five days. And the good thing is, I take all the money back. I just you know start from 2,000 again. I love doing this. <laughs> no, why? Because some people may ask, hey, hey, Jack, you are so talented. Why don't you manage your one million account? I mean, to ask this, right? So let me ask you. Okay, if I have one million, right? Do I put all the money in my broker, in the forex? No, but I have to apply the 2% rule. Every day, I don't want to lose more than 2%, right? but 2% of 1 million is still too much for me. It's 20,000 US dollar. Why should I risk 20,000 US dollar in one, one particular trade? So I decide every trade, I don't want to lose more than 2,000 or 4,000. Do you agree? I want my account to be stable. Okay, so my risk, maximum risk, I set no more than five thousand. If hit five thousand, I should stop and I should review. I should think whether I should proceed. Okay, so if I want if my maximum loss is five thousand, right? Then why? You know, what happened to my to my uh, balance of my account? It's one million. Minus five thousand, I still have nine hundred thousand and ninety, nine hundred ninety-five thousand. And should I risk this money? No. So I rather, but but this money by putting my broker, I don't earn any interest. It's just wasted. Hmm. Right. So I rather put this money outside and buy some maybe fixed income, earn coupons and earn interest. Okay, or I'm just saving deposits. Okay, I only use the money that I wish to lose to trade. So five thousand for me because I'm using four hundred leverage ratio. It's enough for me to carry like two lots or one lot. Okay, one lot equals to one hundred thousand. Okay, one hundred thousand divided by four hundred. Every one lot open, I just need two hundred fifty as money. So five thousand is very enough for me. Okay, so by doing this way, I'm risk. Picking my exposure to only five thousand or four thousand or three thousand, but if I can win, I can win as much as I can. I can grow my account to ten times of this five thousand. So five thousand ten times fifty thousand, right? So what is the ratio to fifty thousand to one million? Five percent, right? I can do it 
every uh, month. Okay, so every month, five percent. So six months later, I earn thirty percent. But I earn thirty percent of one million, which is three hundred dollar, three hundred dollar U.S. dollar. But my risk is very very small. Okay, I risk. I might. I'm. I'm purposely restricting my risk into less than $5. I'm getting a $300 return in the year by this, the same as managing, uh, managing a $1 million account. Okay, so we the same. So that is how I accumulate my profits. Okay, but I'm just showing, showing you, don't do this again. Huh? Don't do this like me. Huh? <laughs> because I have been training for more than 10 years and I've been this all my patterns. Okay, you have to learn and you have to master how to find trades, okay? Because within a day, I don't believe anyone here can trade more than 40 times, okay? I, I look, I'm, I'm very fast, you know? Boom, 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 like playing computer games. <laughs> you have to be very fast, you have to be very accurate, okay? That is, that is a work that after you understand the logic of the trading systems and how you maximize the trading systems, Okay, but I can show you this is achievable. You can be very, very, you know, you, you can be financial free because think of this, if if every time I need some money, right? Okay, I will say, hey, thanks, mm. let's go train tonight, right? Yeah, okay, you want to ask me to chill out, okay? I want to maybe drink some wine, right? I say, okay, give me five minutes. Okay, I'm five minutes. And, okay, bro, let's go. And on the time, I uh, drive the, uh, Goes into a car and we, we our destination we arrive, right? And my hand go, okay, down, five thousand in my pocket, let's go, five, find the most expensive ones. Okay? <laughs> Think of this, if you have this kind of uh, ability, a capability, right? What where else are you are you going to worry? Think to worry. All the bills, you know, housing loans, right? Credit card bills, school fees, tuition, you can all just earn by the markets. And if you don't you know that, you are not gambling. That you are earning the profit risk or stable system that restricts your risk. Okay, give you two times of risk of return. Okay, so if you apply this to every every day, every day, every day. Okay, <coughs> um, after one hundred times successful trading, you will be profitable. Okay, because human beings for new things. Or new skills you want to learn. Okay, let me ask you: Can you ride a bicycle? Can you ride? Okay. How? Well, what is the what is the time that you learn bicycle? Yeah. Which year? Four years old, right? Uh, until you become a very very good bicycle rider, like right? sometimes you can even you know ride a bicycle without holding the handle, right? Okay. How many times do you think you have ride? No Yeah. Holding the handle, you can write very, very good. At least your parents are uh, feeling safe to let you to open to, to drive uh, to ride on yourself. Yeah. How many times passed? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so you learn from four, ten. You raise your hand. <laughs> so, I mean, from the, the first moment that you learn bicycle to the stage that you raise your hand, how, yes, how many times you ride? Yeah, can you give me a finger? 20 times. 20 times, 20 times you, feel, you feel, only 20 times you can ride. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about you can ride every time, very consistent, you can go into your school, you can go into your, you know, um, and ride on the road. Thousand? No, time. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> 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 Why I ask you is everything, every skill that you guys learn, it has to be more than one minute before you can really master it. You have to build some muscle memory, like shooting. You know? I love playing basketball. Right? Shooting three points. I can shoot 15 out of 25 and win a champion. But before I made this champion, I shoot more than 2,000 or 3,000 balls. 
you have to make a lot of practice. Okay? Practice makes perfect. That's never be wrong. Okay? And after you're building a, this kind of a correct trading habit and trading uh, rules, okay? you'll be like me. I'm not saying 100% like me. 10% like me is already very rich, right? Okay? You can grow two thousand and then two thousand, right? Okay? So, yeah, I think uh, that's all for today. And uh, if you are uh, if you are interested to uh, learn from me more, you can just talk to me uh, later, okay? And uh, yeah, these are the other failures, okay? And I do have a course to uh, teach you all these patterns and how how the system works and how to learn the a, B, C, D patterns, Carter D, Bad, Cypher, okay? What is the ultimate steps, okay? Uh, like the IPDE, and it's one of my, this is my students' group, okay? And some of the students are here, okay? These are my students. You can ask them what is, uh, what are their, okay, like, Casey, Casey in Canada, he made 22,000 after leaving my course, this waiting months, okay? And I uh, hold my, course in Singapore two years ago and right now I don't have any uh, physical course uh, but that will be only in Shanghai for teaching Mandarin but English one I have the full course in YouTube to we'll share to you okay and you join my my uh, students group right okay so that's all for today and uh, thanks for coming oh, let me just uh, end the, the uh,